Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating a new character device. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a class of a device in the SYSFS, create a device file in SYSFS and dev directory. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox version 5.2, Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0 hyphen 31 generic, and gedit text editor. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language and Basics of Linux kernel. If not, then go through the C, C++ and Linux spoken tutorials on this website. A class specifies the type of device that has a similar behavior. For example, audio devices. Classes provide a grouping of devices based on functionality. Mostly, you can associate a device with a specific class. For example, block devices such as hard drives are associated with the block class. Go to the device driver folder on the desktop. Here, I have created a new directory as create new device. In this directory, I have saved a simple underscore driver dot c driver file and make file. I will use these files for demonstration. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing Alt, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Go to the directory where create new device is saved on your system. Press Enter key after every command. Type gedit space simple underscore driver dot c to open the driver file. I have used the same file simple underscore driver dot c which we used earlier. In this file, I have added required kernel functions. These kernel functions are used to create a new character device and its class. Let me explain the code. We have to include the device.h header file. The kernel functions that are required to create a new device are declared in it. First, we have to declare a class structure for a new device as shown here. A class is defined in the kernel with the struct class structure. Let us see how to create a class using the kernel function in the SYSFS. The class underscore create function is used to, to create a class in the SYSFS file system. This function returns the struct class pointer. Owner specifies the pointer to the module in which this struct class is defined. Name specifies the pointer to a string for the name of this class. Here, class underscore create function will create my underscore class in the SYSFS. The SYSFS exports the system information from the kernel space to user space. On failure, it will unregister the device and will exit with the failure message. Otherwise, print k will print the message that the class is created successfully. 
Let us see the kernel function used to create a device file. Device underscore create function is used to create the device file in the dev directory. It will also create the device file in the sysfs. It returns the struct device pointer. We will see the parameters that are passed to device underscore create function. Class specifies the device class. Parent specifies the parent device of this device. If it is not specified, it is referred to as null. DEVT specifies the DEV underscore T variable which holds the device number. DRV data is a pointer to the driver data. FMT is a string used for the device name. Here I have given a new character device name as new underscore device. CL specifies the pointer to the class structure of this new underscore device. As the device does not have a parent device, I have passed the null pointer. Device underscore num holds the major and minor numbers of the new underscore device. Let us see the kernel function used to, to remove the class of device to free its memory. Class underscore destroy function destroys a struct class structure. Class specifies the pointer to the struct class that has to be destroyed. These functions are executed when the device file creation fails. Class underscore destroy will remove the class of device from the SYSFS. Depending upon its success or failure, the corresponding message will be printed. Now, let us see the kernel function used to, to remove the device from the kernel. Device underscore destroy function removes a device that was created with device underscore create. This function is used in the exit function to free the kernel's memory. Class is a pointer to the struct class that this device was registered with. DVT specifies the DV underscore T of the device that was previously registered. In the exit function, we have to return all the resources to the system. Here, the class and device will be removed by their corresponding functions. Print K message indicates the successful removal of the class and device. Finally, we have to unregister the device from the kernel as shown here. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Let us create a make file to compile the driver. Type gedit space make file. Type the code as shown or you can make use of the downloaded make file. Let us compile the driver. Type make space all. Clear the screen. Now let us load the driver into the kernel. Type sudo space su. Type the password to be a super user. Type ins mod space simple underscore driver dot ko. Clear the screen. Let us see the loaded print k messages from the initialization function. Type d mesg space pipe space grep space 
simple underscore driver. It shows that the class underscore create function is executed successfully. Similarly, it shows that the device underscore create function is executed successfully. These messages indicate that our device and its class is created successfully. Clear the screen. Now, let's check whether the class is created in the SYSFS or not. Type the command as shown. Here, you can see the new my underscore class is registered successfully. Similarly, check whether a device is created in the SYSFS or not. Type the command as shown. This shows that the new underscore device is created in the SYSFS. Let us check if the device file is created under the dev directory or not. Type the command as shown. You can see the new underscore device file is created. The user can access this file to transfer the data to the new underscore device using its driver. Clear the screen. Now, let us unload the driver. Type rm mod space simple underscore driver dot ko. Clear the screen. To see the unloaded print k messages, type the dmesg command as shown. The output shows that the device file and its class are removed from the kernel. It indicates that the device is also unregistered here. Let us remove the object files created after the compilation. Type make clean. To be a regular user, type exit. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to create a class of a device in the SYSFS. Create a device file in SYSFS and DEV directory. As an assignment, open the simple underscore driver dot C file. Create a device with a different name. Compile and load the simple underscore driver dot C. See the newly created device file under the SYSFS. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. This is Usha signing off. Thanks for watching.